Okay, welcome Pat, congratulations. We're so excited to have you in the 2016 class of Top 25. You're amazing, and I would love to share with our viewers today exactly what, what's the business that you started? Tell us the backstory on that. The business that I started, uh, Jadan Cleaning, is a full service commercial cleaning company based in South Jersey, in Medford, New Jersey, and we also have an office in West Philadelphia. So the cleaning industry, how did you get into this? That's a good question. Uh, I got into it because I had an innate uh, desire to own my own business. I emigrated to this country when I was six years old from Trinidad mm. and always wanted to own my own business. So for almost 20 years, I was a pharmaceutical rep and my docs used to complain about their offices uh, being dirty. And even though they were paying for it, they never felt that they were getting what they were paid for. So I had a, an aha moment and so that there was a need in the market for a professional cleaning company. And I always say that we uh, bring professionalism to the cleaning business. Incredible. So you had the, the American dream and you went <laughs> for it and you have succeeded. Congratulations on that. And Thank that's you. that's amazing. So how do you keep innovation um, as a part of, of the equation for success? The innovation piece, we try to stay on top of. Even though it's cleaning, I'm a big believer in processes, mm -hmm. right? So we have invested in, for instance, our quality assurance software is uh, one of the best in the country where we do monthly inspections, where we rate our cleaners. If they get 90 or above as far as their inspection, we give them, we incentivize them with a, with a gift card. Mm -hmm. So we're able to take the scope of work that we're supposed to be doing and be able to measure it um, and that's one of the ways that we've brought innovation into um, what we do. Well, I mean, that's absolutely key to success and growth as being an entrepreneur is to implement processes. So I applaud you for that. Let's shift gears. Are there any organizations that you're involved with outside of the company that you'd like to tell us about or, or different advocacy work that you're involved in? Sure. Um, one that I'm very proud of. Um, on the board of the Food Bank of South Jersey. Mm -hmm. And the Food Bank is, is, they do great work, especially with children and um, the elderly. You'd be surprised how many, uh, how many people today don't have food, especially that third or fourth week of the month. So I'm very proud to be on that board. And then I recently um, was elected on the board of my alma mater, Franklin and Marshall College, on their alumni board. So I'm really proud of that also. And I started my own mentoring group where uh, quite a few young female entrepreneurs are coming to me for, for guidance. Great. Tell us, um, what's some advice that you would give a woman who's starting out a business? Good question. And I've thought about this for a long time. Uh, a couple things. Uh, follow your gut. I'm a big believer in you know, following your instincts. Mm -hmm. Surround yourself with people that are smarter than you are. Find yourself a really good mentor or advisors, people who are where you want to be, who can help you um, maneuver, I call this a, a journey. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't say it better myself, right? Um, so our theme this year is celebrating the unstoppable. Why are you unstoppable? I am unstoppable because of my drive to get it done no matter what it takes. You know, my goal is to be an entrepreneur, but to be a successful one. So whatever it takes to get that goal done, uh, that's, what I, that's what I do. And that's why you're here today. So congratulations Thank because you. you've earned this spot and it is my absolute pleasure to have you in this class. So congratulations again. Thank and you. And we will see you on the 14th at the Liberty House. Looking forward to it. Thank Me you. Me too.